Donald Fleming was my history professor at Harvard, and he taught a co course on modern European thought. And in that course, he dedicated an entire lecture to the Austrian poet Rainer Maria Rilke. It was fascinating that he thought Rilke was such an important part of 20th century life that he dedicated so much time to him. Fleming explained that up until the age of five, Rilke was raised as a girl and that his father, was, uh, who worked in the railroad, um, longed for him to fulfill the father's own dream for himself, which was to become a great military commander, and so sent him to military school, which was definitely bending him in the wrong direction. But Rilke was like many poets. He, he longed for inspiration, and he waited for inspiration before he began writing. And he began working as a, as a kind of unpaid secretary for the artist Auguste Rodin. That's the sculptor who um, made the famous work The Thinker. And Rodin really prided himself on being kind of a workman in his approach to his art. He just rolled up his sleeves and he just got to work on it. And so he sat Rilke down and he said, listen, go and find something and look at it intensely and just observe it and observe it and observe it until the words of the poem come to you. And Rilke began doing this and it gave him some great success. He went to the zoo in Paris and he um, wrote about the animals that he saw. I want to write just, uh, say just a few lines that come from one of those poems. Um, the poem's called Der Panzer, the Panther. His vision from the constantly passing bars has grown so weary that it cannot hold anything else. It seems to him there are a thousand bars and behind the bars, no world. One of the most intense relationships that Rilke had was with a woman named Lou Andrea Salome. She was a French immigrant who had had a very intense relationship herself with the philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche in the 1880s. And many people compare Friedrich Nietzsche and Rilke, and um, some people describe Rilke as an anti-Christian writer. And I find labels like that are just not very helpful. I think Christians should be looking for inspiration anywhere they can. And Rilke did write a book called the Hours, Book of Hours. And these are, in a way, poems to God. And I want to close by sharing um, one of the poems from that collection. So this poem addresses, for me, addresses God. Only in our doing can we grasp you. Only with our hands can we illumine you. The mind is but a visitor. It thinks us out of the world. Each mind fabricates itself. We sense its limits for we have made them. And just when we would flee them, you come and make of yourself an offering. I don't want to think a place for you. Speak to me from everywhere. Your gospel can be comprehended without looking for its source. When I go toward you, it is with my whole life. My name is Malcolm Clemens Young. I'm the Dean of Grace Cathedral in San Francisco, California. Thanks for watching more good news.